Well, many South Florida residents are voting for the first time this election season. In most cases, it's because they just turned 18. But a 100-year-old Holocaust survivor cast her first ballot today. CBS 4's Rick Fulbaum is here now with her remarkable journey. Rick? Well, Elliot, so many of you reached out after our story in September about many a Pearlman of Coral Gables. She's lived in this country for more than 20 years, but just recently became an American citizen. Why now? She wanted to vote. Today she did, and we were there. At first glance, many a Pearlman looks like any other South Florida senior getting ready to go and vote. A civic duty carried out every election season. Except for this 100-year-old Holocaust survivor, this is the first election she can take part in. I'd like to acknowledge Ms. Menia Perlman, originally from Ukraine, again, our newest United States citizen at 100 years old. CBS 4 News was there in September in Kendall when Menia took her oath of citizenship. It is a little uh, tired, uh, late, but, but I am very happy. At least I am a, a citizen. She survived four years in a Nazi concentration camp and initially tried to get to the U.S. after the war, only to be turned away because of immigration restrictions. She finally got here in 1993. But it was this year's election that motivated her to finally make it official. I wanted to vote. And vote she did, riding a special bus with some of her neighbors from the palace at Coral Gables, where she lives, to the local library. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> where she did something she had never in all her years done before. Tell me, what did you think? I hope that it will be correct. <laughs> you hope you voted I for the did. right one? <laughs> and who did you vote for? Pardon? For whom did you vote? May I tell you? Please, tell me. <laughs> Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> Many a story has gotten attention all over the world. In fact, a news crew from Israel saw our original story and came all the way to South Florida to interview her today. In her 100th year of life, many says she feels like a star. Today, she was simply an American. Elliot.